Hi everybody, it's Geordie from Geordie Colours. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am here with a fun haul video. Um, so yeah, I haven't had much time for filming and stuff lately. Work has been a little bit crazy. Life is kind of, <laughs> the mundane parts of life are getting in the way of the fun stuff like colouring. But um, so I wanted to jump in here and, and show you a few things that I've purchased over the last few weeks. I had a massive, massive um, de-stash uh, recently. I decided to really cull my coloring book collection. Um, I didn't get rid of any of my pencils. I love all my pencils. But there were quite a few books that I felt I just was not gonna touch as much as I should. And they, it was kind of stressing me out. Like, <laughs> I don't know if you feel the same, but I kind of felt like I had too much choice. Um, there were certain books that I really wanted to focus on and I felt like I was neglecting the other ones and it was stressing me out. So I had a big D stash and I, um, I gave away a, a huge pile of coloring books. Now I know you're all saying, why didn't you give them to me? Um, where I live, it's very, very difficult to post anything. It's very expensive and the whole process would have just been very convoluted and difficult and um, not particularly reliable. So I just, I decided to give them to people who might actually use them and enjoy them. And I thought even if they go to kids who end up, you know, like just scribbling in them, great, because at least they're getting used, they're getting some love, and that was more than they were getting in my home. <laughs> so I made room on my shelf and I um, decided to not fill all of that up. I haven't gone that crazy, but there have been a few books that I have wanted for a long time and I've kind of been holding off because I felt like I already had too much. So I de-stashed and then I re-stashed <laughs> with just a few. So I de-stashed probably, I wanna say about 40 books. It was a lot. Um, and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to show you. So, you know, yeah, it's still quite a pile that I now need to touch, but um, yeah, I made plenty of room. So, Let's start with these because I have them sat here just for something to look at. Um, so these just arrived this morning and I'm quite excited about these. These are the Erositon, I nearly said that wrong, Tombow Erositon coloured pencils. I have at the moment, I have the um, Woodland set, which is this one, and the Seascape set. I have the Rainforest set on the way. So there are three sets of these. They're the Tombow Colour Dictionary and they are designed to look like books um, kind of within and, and they've got volumes and yeah, so I love the packaging. I don't know how practical the packaging is, but the packaging is so pretty. So, um, so yeah, Seascape, um, so Woodland and Seascape and the first set is the Rainforest set, which is en route, but it'll probably take another week or so to get here. So I wanted to share what I had. So they are a collection of 30 pencils in each set. So a total of 90 pencils. There are 10 other pencils that I believe you can buy open stock. Um, I haven't bothered with those mostly because I had difficulty finding them. <laughs> um, maybe one day I'll collect them as well, but I really wanted to try these. And that the I thought for the price, they were actually quite reasonable. Um, as I say, they look so pretty in their cases, these beautiful little booklets. Um, they came, each set came with one of these. I've now got two of these, which is kind of like the color chart. So it shows you all of the pencil colors. I did do a very, very quick swatch this morning. So I'll start with um, the Woodland set. So. This is how they come packaged in these little kind of booklet boxes. Uh, so this one, and they all have um, like, hopefully you can see that, the silver there. Um, so volume four, so this is obviously 
the first volume of the second set. So volumes one, two, and three will be in the rainforest set, which is on its way. So this is volume four. These are the pale tone set two. And look at them. Oh, they're so pretty. <laughs> um, they're really lovely. I really like them. So this is how they look. They're a white barreled pencil with a colored end. They have the colored names on the inside of the box along with the numbers. Each pencil, let me grab one out here, has the, um, it's very hard to see because it's silver um, embossed in there, but it has the color number and then it has P20, which relates to the fact that it's one of the pale tone colors and it's the pale tone at number 20. And then on the other side, they have kind of like the Tombow um, logo and then a couple of other numbers, which I'm sure relate to the color as well, because it says C1RP20. So it relates to that P20 color. Um, but uh, oh, so pretty. I love them. And <laughs> I was pleasantly surprised because I've read lots of reviews saying that they're really hard. Um, I have like I say not used them a huge amount but I printed this off and just had a quick a quick scribble of them on here and I say quick it was very quick um but they lay down really nicely I didn't find them overly hard at all the color pigment is amazing look at these neon these fluorescent colors they're so cool I've got nothing like this in any of my other sets, maybe one or two fluorescents here and there, but nothing like this. I think this is going to be so fun to do a page kind of just in these, if I can manage that. But look at the variety of colors you get. So these, you've got the pale tones, which is the box I just showed you, pale tone, deep tone, light grayish tone. I also love those very muted colors. You've got fluorescents, very pale tones and dull tones. But they're so pretty. I'm so happy I got these. I really was on the fence. I have been eyeing them up for about a year and the reviews about them being really hard put me off. Um, and I was worried that, yeah, they, they wouldn't really be very usable, but no, I, you know, like I said, I haven't actually used them on a page, so it's hard to tell, but I was expecting them to be a lot, lot firmer than what they are. Um, so I'm excited to try these out. So I have the, I can't remember what Derwent, Derwent set I have. Derwent Artist Pencils, I think it might be. I'm not sure. They're super hard. These are nothing like that. They really lay down pigment nicely. You don't have to press hard to get a nice pigment. I do think they'll be great for layering if you are into layering. Um, not... No, layering isn't a style that I use very often, but maybe I'm going to have to learn with these pencils, but I just really like them. So that was a nice kind of little um, purchase for myself, and I'm really happy with them. Right, I have another set of pencils to show you, which I have actually left on my shelf. So give me two seconds because they're right here. And I can just grab them. This is the other set of pencils that I bought. These are, and excuse my, again, I did a really quick um, color chart here. These are the Posca coloring pencils. They come, as far as I'm aware, they only come in a maximum of 36 colors. This is the 36 color set. This is how they come packaged. I have used these already, so you'll see that some are a lot shorter than others because I have used them on a couple of pages or a couple of projects I should say um so they come in this case it's a it's a hard firm case I'm going to keep them in this because I actually find them quite easy to um use in here so you can see I have used used them quite extensively already not all of the colors but some of them um but again a lovely range of colors they're beautiful and vibrant so so pigmented um again excuse my rubbishy quick um color chart here but i just wanted to scribble them down and then play with them now the only issue with these let me pull one out is that they are not numbered or color they have color names on them so they have the um colored end 
but on the barrel you've got Uni Posca Pencil and Mitsubishi Pencil Co, but there is no number or colour name given to these. So I kind of just made up my own names for them, <laughs> just because, I don't know, that's the way my brain works. And I've just kept them in order so that I know tray one, I've got these colours, tray two, I've got these. So there's 12 pencils in each tray for a total of 36. But... This is the very first thing I coloured with them very quickly. I did, just did this little bookmark. This is another new purchase. It's the Petit Poupée bookmark um, pad, I guess you could say. It's not really a colouring book. It's, yeah. So I just pulled this one out and um, I actually did this because Disney Megs has her ABC challenge and last month it was S and we did Sleeping Beauty and this month it's A and I did Aurora, the same one and the same, but I just decided to do this super, super quick. Um, I, like I said, I just wanted to have a quick play around with the pencils and see how they worked. My blending isn't brilliant, but they worked lovely. I really like them. Very highly pigmented. They're soft, but not as soft as a Prisma. Um, but yeah, look at that rich, vibrant colour. Let me just show you the other page that I have done. Bear with me one second. Um, this one. This one is a bit of a sneak peek because I finally got round to doing a page in my Shooting Star book by Maria Chole. And I coloured this one. Oh, sorry, banging my camera. With exclusively with the Posca pencils. So Look how vibrant and rich those colours are. I was a bit unsure. Sorry, I keep banging my camera. I was a bit unsure about using the red for the background, but I'm really happy with how it turned out in the end. So that was all done just with Posca pencils and a bit of um, white gel pen and tiny bit of sparkle pot pen on the inside of the flowers as well. But I love it. Um, love those pencils. They're really vibrant and rich and bright and colourful. Um, yeah, uh, again, there's only 36 pencils in the set, but it's enough. There's a good enough range for pretty much everything you need. So those were the two kind of coloring supplies, if you like, that I bought. Um, let me pop all this back together. Um, and like I say, very, very happy with both of those purchases or with all of those purchases, I guess, because the erosion come in separate packs. Okay, so then, as I said, I bought the Petit Poupée bookmarks. I've been looking for these for a while because I have the Petit Poupée book and I love it and I've seen these bookmarks being coloured and they're just so cute and fun and so quick and easy. I think this one, um, I did it all with pencil and just a bit of white gel pen, but I did this one in about 40 minutes I think it took me including all of the background and everything so it really didn't take long um, and they're just really cute so I got those I also got another book that I have been eyeing out for quite some time um, but was reluctant to purchase because I had a bunch of other mythographics that I haven't touched I still have a bunch of other mythographics that I haven't touched but I did de-stash some of them particularly the ones with a bunch of hidden images that I really struggled with. Some of the older books. This one also has hidden objects in it, um, as you can see, but they're not quite as bad as the older books and the pages are slightly less detailed and more in line with the kind of newer artwork. Sorry, this is Joseph Kattenbang. It's Mythographic Wild Winter, <laughs> didn't say that. Um, but again, it's an older book. I have seen tons of people do pages from this book. I love this one. Um, and I just thought it was really lovely and I really wanted to get my hands on it. So I was thinking about getting the Wild Summer book um, back in August. <laughs> And it's not available for purchase here until the end of October. And I kind of thought, well, I know I live in a hot country and I could get away with doing summer pages any time of the year, but I want to feel like I'm kind of doing seasonal pages. Sometimes I prefer working seasonally. I don't know why, I just do. I live in a country where there's not really any seasons, but um, so I 
I decided to get this one instead and then I can always think about the wild summer one in the future but I love this one and um, yeah I, I'm looking forward to doing some pages in this won't be this month might be might be October but probably November December time I'll finally get to this book um, I don't like buying books and leaving them sitting on the shelf but I do have plans for this one for later in the year so that's Mythographic Wild Winter by Joseph Kappenbang I then got this book um so I bought the Hannah Carlson party book so um I decided to get the space one as well I love the party book um they are designed as children's books but they're just you know the Hannah Carlson's usual style um and fun but maybe just a little bit simpler um and I, I don't mind simpler so I bought this with the intention of doing something for Space Timber and we are now on the 13th of September and I have done no space pages um, I am hoping that I might get one of these done I'm thinking that those Tombow Erogeton pencils in the neon colors would look kind of fun for something like this so yeah I'm I'm really hoping I've got a few buddy colors again I've lined up far too many buddy colors haven't given myself enough time to um, get everything done that I want to get done but yeah I'd really like to get one of these pages done this month if I can and at least do one thing for Space Timber but such a cute book and really happy to have that one so that's Hannah Carlson's Space Coloring Book Okay, then I did an order from Amazon Japan and I got three books from Amazon Japan. This one is Eerie's postcard book. It's called Waltzes for the Season. Um, again, it's not, oh, sorry, I'm going the wrong way. It's not a new book. It is an older one. It's been out, I don't know if I can figure out where the date of printing is or if it's, I said eerie, it's Kanoko Egusa, sorry. <laughs> I was just looking at that thing. I'm sure I said eerie. It's Kanoko Egusa's postcard book. Uh, I can't see a date of publication. I don't, oh, 2018, sorry, it's right there next to the name. So 2018, so it's definitely an older book. Um, but I love Kanoko Egusa's style, but sometimes the bigger pages kind of freak me out a little bit. They're quite detailed and I decided to get this one so you've probably seen flip throughs of this before um but there's some colored examples to begin with and then you get into the real thing so the difference between this and her regular book is that these are perforated they are on they're not it's not a it's not a really thick cardstock but definitely a lot thicker than her usual books and they are single-sided apart from a very small image that you get on the other side some are landscape some are portrait some take up the whole page like this um i'm trying to think so excuse this messy sheet this is a sheet of a4 paper so it's about half of an a4 maybe slightly slightly smaller but yeah about an a5 size for british people um for american people i don't know i guess that's just like a normal standard size of you know white copy paper cut in half so it's around about that size so they're a nice size and look they're so gorgeous look at these images i'm so excited about this one um there's a lot of seasonal pages in here as well you do have some pages which you get half so each page is divided into two and you get two images. So it's so cute. Look at those little spring pages. Lambs and hedgehogs and just Kanoko Egusa's usual lovely style of these animals and clothes and different poses and just gorgeous. Um, so I'm quite excited about this and the fact that it's single sided and you could use alcohol markers if you wanted. Um, watercolour mediums are going to work great on this where they don't work quite so well on her usual books because the paper is a bit thin. Oh, look at those little mice and teacups. Um, some real summer scenes. I love this one. I think this is gorgeous. I'm not going to spend ages flicking through this but 
you can see and you get like again you've got some cute halloweeny um more kind of autumnal pages look at this one with the little ghost i think that's so cute um but yeah just a ton a ton of images that work look at this one for halloween isn't that gorgeous look at these little animals dressed up they're so cute um yeah just love it and then you've got some lovely wintry christmassy pages um as well so lots of lovely seasonal pages and i just thought this was really really sweet so like i say you've got kind of two sizes you've either got the full page or you've got half page for each image and then right at the back you have if i can find them some little tags so i think there's eight little tags all together as well and they have little kind of decorations on the back but love it so really happy with that one so that's kanoko igusa's waltzes for the seasons postcard book and look at the cover i love this kind of vintagey style cover as well then i also got this newish book sorry let me zoom you out again um which is part of the same series as wild mouse yuri's sketchbook and the polar bear adventure cruise book and all those good ones so i kind of bought this a little bit unseen um, but it's called stuffed animals midnight tea party and it's by pochi and i did google translate all of this stuff um, and basically, the kind of theme of this book is that um, this little boy, his mum makes him a mouse for every birthday and it's his sixth birthday and he's going to get a new mouse. So here's the five from his original first five birthdays and then this is number six. They all have different personalities and characters. So at the start of the book, we've got our um, coloured examples. And then we get into the coloring book proper. So this is, you can see here, all five little mice lined up on his shelf and it must be the eve of his birthday. He's gone to bed. And then here you've got a chance to name the mice and give them names and they've all got different personalities. I translated these little things here, which all said like different things like cheeky and helpful. And so they've all got different personalities. So you could color them slightly differently or give them little different colored scarves to identify them throughout the book um i just thought it was so sweet so here is his sixth birthday mouse ready in the box and um they little ma mice apparently are quite helpful and at night they come out and they start doing chores around the house so you can see them cleaning and washing windows um all sorts of things tidying up after the family that they live with so just a really really cute little book and um yeah very very sweet i i really like it i'm again not sure when i'm going to get to it because you know <laughs> too many books too little time i love this one with the bathtub scene um but isn't that beautiful look at this for a double page spread i don't know i'm gonna to have to zoom you out a little bit more and see if i can get that in at least um so you've got a lovely house with the car and the strawberries and yeah that's really pretty and then his little friend comes to visit and she's got a little bunny rabbit toy and the toys kind of do all sorts of fun things together um, it's just really sweet, just a really lovely concept for this book. Uh, it's crying, saying goodbye, I think. Um, but yeah, really, look at this. Isn't that magical? <laughs> so sweet. So tons of really fun pages in this book and really, really pretty. I think this third chapter is that the mice, that or well, a mouse goes out into the garden and the cat is there and initially the cat kind of gives chase <laughs> and eventually they become friends and um, look at this for a fantastic garden scene looking down on the garden um yeah eventually they become friends and they all sit down and have a little picnic together um which is really cute i love this this image with them all sleeping out under the under the picnic blanket or on the picnic blanket um but yeah just 
beautiful, cute little images. And then I think chapter four was they go on a magical adventure. So I'm presuming this is when the little boy goes to sleep and that he's dreaming and there's all sorts of things going on. I think that's what it is, don't quote me on it. Um, so, but these, a lot of these pages would have been great for space timber. I'm not gonna get any of these done, unfortunately, but a lot of them have like space themes to them. Look at this one with the stars and yeah, it's really pretty. You've got all sorts of stuff going on. But like I say, I think this is kind of like the boy asleep and dreaming. And here he is in a kind of ice cream shop served by giant teddy bears. <laughs> um, it's just a lot of fun. Lots of balloons and party type things. Um, but yeah, it's a really, really cute book. And then right at the back, you have a kind of perpetual calendar that you can make um, and color all the numbers and you've got these kind of things that you can stick them to um, and it tells you how to how to make them and everything in, in the book if you translate the Japanese and that is it but I thought that one was really really sweet so that one is Stuffed Animals Midnight Tea Party by Pochi and finally i got this one another one that i have been eyeing up for quite some time and this is um by kuroi mori i think i'm saying that right and it's victorian fantasy picture book and it's another one i've seen on a lot of other people's channels and i was quite keen to get my hands on it uh, again this one is perforated so i'm trying to be careful i do i do feel like they're going to fall out like this one looks like it's on the verge of falling out already um so they kind of have chapters again chapter one is the ore girls so they're based on stones so the first one is ruby then we have emerald uh fluorite crystal and i think the last one is opal but these are so pretty i'm not normally drawn to people as such like i don't mind people as part of images but I'm not normally drawn to portrait type things but I really like these ones and next chapter chapter two is constellation girls which is all star signs so we have Aries Taurus Gemini I'm gonna get some of these wrong I'm sure I don't know what this one is Cancer Leo um, Virgo Libra Scorpio, Sagittarius, uh, Capricorn, and Aquarius, and Pisces. So really love all of those ones, They're really nice. Then we kind of have like Victorian style settings um, and places. So we have a Victorian tailor, we have a cafe, like a steampunk style cafe a doctor's laboratory, a library, which is like a, in a tropical jungle or something. Uh, and then we've got this lovely, beautiful night. So some of the pages do have more kind of um, uh, line work on them, but I just think they're absolutely beautiful. And then we've got this one, uh, which is called No Problem. Um, super cute and then the final chapter is the vaporous elusive girls <laughs> so these are all quite fancy girls i think so we've got a time an antique traveler we've got a flying girl they're all very steampunky kind of looking um a flying girl illusion this one is called uh this one is tonight's party with professor cat I love this one with all the florals. I think that one's so pretty. Um, it's called A Blessed Bouquet. Uh, this one is beautiful as well. A Moonlit Night for You. And this one, I think this one is like, uh, yeah, Steampunk Witch Ride. Yeah, isn't that cool? That'd be a cool one to do for Halloween, something a bit different. Uh, I love this one. She's kind of like Joan of arc looking to me. Um, and she's called Abandoned Wonderland. And then, of course, you've got some coloured examples at the back. Um, so, yeah, really, really love that book. I'm quite happy to have that one in my collection as well. So that is 
Victorian fantasy picture book by Kuroi Mori, which I got from Amazon Japan. And two other books that I have been contemplating getting for some time, um, but was put off by the expense, but I decided to treat myself. I got two Clara Makova books. So this one is, can you see it all there? Fairy Touch of Magic. I will zoom you out just a smidge more so we can get it all in. So let me move my camera up a bit. There we go. Fairy Touch of Magic by Clara Makova. Now, initially, I wasn't 100% sure how I felt about these books, so I got a little kind of bookmark type thing in there first. Um, but I really like them. Um, I, there are some, some of the images, the faces are a little bit, they're a little bit different. I, I'm not going to say they're odd, they're different looking. They're not... Um, I don't know, they're not your normal kind of like, look at this little bee here, you know, like they're just different. So they do take a little bit of kind of getting used to, but I actually really like the images. Um, they're very busy. There's lots going on. Um, you've kind of got a main image on one side and then a few kind of smaller images on the other. Um, and there are a couple of double page spreads throughout as well. Like this next one is a double page spread. But look how cute these are absolutely gorgeous and again you've got a lot of seasonal pages so for all the different seasons um and some that are just good any time of the year really um but so cute look at this little like crayfish here little lobster um i just yeah i'm really happy that i bought these the paper is really nice um, I haven't tried anything out on these yet, but I'm looking forward to doing something with these books. I just think they're really, really lovely. Um, they're really cute. Look at this little guy. <laughs> He's gorgeous. Um, so, yeah, I can understand why they're not everyone's cup of tea. And I think that was, I, I was a little bit put off initially because I felt like a lot of people had said that they were not, you know, not for them. Um... And I can understand why, but for me, I really like them. Um, yeah, I really love, really love the content. Sorry, I'm doing a flip through and you don't need a flip through because you've probably seen these books a million times. But like, look at this, um, where did it go? Look at this little house, <laughs> it's so cute. Um, and you've got some nice Christmassy kind of pages. Yeah, I really like them. So I got that one, which was Fairy Touch of Magic. And then I also got Little Secrets from my fairy house. So I decided that these two were the ones I was going to start with. So again, I've got a little postcard and a little bookmark here. Um, so they'll be fun to colour. And again, you've got the same kind of cute images. You've got the same mix of seasons. Um, yeah, let me just flick through quickly from the back. Um, I just I think they're really lovely um, and I'm quite excited to have them look at that for a Christmas double page spread very very cute with that Christmas tree that's awesome um I don't know <laughs> I'm a bit scared to do a double page spread but look at that one so yeah I I just I just like looking through them um they're so cool uh, and every time I look at them I see more details like look at this little guy in his cocoon down here um, so each time I look at the page, I see something new and different and there's, there's a lot going on in each page. There's a lot of, um, a lot of details. Um, but I think it's going to be so fun to color. Look at this double page spread. Look at this little lizard. It's so cute. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about having that one in my collection as well. These two books in my collection. So very, very happy. Um, Clara Makova, Maria, no, not Maria Trolley, Clara Makova, Amazon Japan, and a couple of other little bits and pieces, and some lovely pencils, which I'm very excited about having. Apologies, right when I was finishing up, there was a phone call which I had to take. So, yeah, we're done. That is it. That's my haul. I'm very, very happy with all of my purchases. Um, I have no idea when I'm going to get around to colouring all these beautiful books. 
but I am very excited to have them in my collection as well as the new pencils. Um, I don't need new pencils, I have tons of them, but I just like using and trying different things and yeah, so it's all good. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed seeing what I um, what I got and yeah, thank you so much for joining me. I hope to see you again soon. Take care everybody, bye.